has been approved. And now opponents on the project are scrambling to do whatever they can to reverse that decision. But as News 13's John Bartell reports, a pro-natural gas consulting firm is telling protesters they need to accept defeat. We're dealing with serial protesters who, if they weren't protesting this project, would be protesting something else that might have nothing to do with the environment. Tom Shepstone, a natural gas and energy company consultant, says he's tired of anti-natural gas protesters like Alex Latorto stalling progress on natural gas projects like the one running through Pike County. No Alex Latorto. I actually like him as an individual, but he's a, um, a young um, socialist wannabe. So the Tennessee Pipeline and Tom Shepstone, who says he's a resident in the area, want to say that this is good. It's good for him because he works for the industry. The verbal backstabbing between the two parties comes after a crucial construction permit was granted by the Army Corps of Engineers last week. This was the last permit the construction firm Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company needed to begin building a natural gas transmission line through Pike County and many parts of eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So we're holding out a lot of hope that the Army Corps was going to live up to their obligation and unfortunately they, they haven't. For months, protesters rallied against the pipeline project, hoping the Army Corps of Engineers would side with them and not allow the pipeline to go through water crossings. Unfortunately for the protesters, it didn't work out that way. And now, Chef Stone says it's time for protesters to put an end to their demonstration. Uh, Alex and his friends uh, will continue fighting in every way they can, but in the end they won't be successful. Uh, because this is this is far too important a project. The pipeline protesters may have lost the battle out in the field, but now they're taking their efforts to the phone line and telling pipeline investors what they think. Calling the Kinder Morgan shareholders, the investors, because we want to make them aware of what their company has been doing. Protesters say fighting the natural gas company in the court system didn't work. So now they're calling investors and encouraging them not to fund the project because future protesting will slow the construction process and cause the pipeline company to miss their deadline. If that's missed for investors, you'd be out the money. In Pike County, John Bartell, News 13.